Hey everybody, Wes Altis here, Director of Instruction at Top Golf Jacksonville. I got a tip for you today on how to get into the perfect posture. So what we're going to do, we're going to start from the ground up. Uh, first piece is to get your uh, feet just about a little bit wider than hip width. And then we're going to flare both feet out a little bit. And we're also going to relax our knees so the knees are kind of pointing a little bit out toward our toe. So if we had a relationship here, if our feet were turned out 20 degrees, we'd want our knees pointing out about 10 degrees. Just numbers, um, no real hard and fast rule. That's about what we want to see. Then from there, what I'm going to have you do is put the club right here in the center of your sternum. And then I'm going to have you go ahead and just bend or push your hips backwards and let your torso fall down and then relax your knees. And what you're going to notice is that I kind of created a tail. So when I do it, from down the line, again, we're going to flare our feet out, put the club right here in the middle of our sternum, kind of press it against so it hits us in the where our belt is, and then I'm just going to push my hips back, let my torso fall, and then I'm going to relax my knees a little bit, and you can see I got a tail created here. And then from here, we can just take the club away, get nice and relaxed with our hands, go ahead and put our grip on, and now we're all set. So you can do that in the comfort of your own home, broom, alignment rod, you know, something that will extend past in between your legs. So when you're doing this in the mirror at home, you can kind of see how much you've got to push your hips back and let your torso come forward to be able to get that tail in that nice, solid address position.